Welcome back, everyone. Well, we're joined by a very special guest today to talk about some unique events coming up that you may want to take in yourself. Uh, Sarah Stewart is here. You are a nurse practitioner, and you're going to help people um, destigmatize weight loss and, and talking about being obese and that kind of thing. Why is this so important, and who is this for? Um, well, I'd like everyone to come, um, not just people who are like necessarily struggling with their weight, mm -hmm. but just interested in um, prevention and nutrition and just overall health. Um, so with destigmatizing de weight, um, we know that eating less and moving more does not work. And then we blame the patient that, you know, they're not following a calorie restricted diet or exercising enough. And it puts a lot of like guilt and shame and embarrassment mm -hmm. on the patient and, and it's not fair. You know, we know that weight is actually like a symptom of underlying hormonal and metabolic dysfunction. And so until we kind of correct the hormone signaling and correct some of the me metabolic dysfunction, you know, people will continue to struggle with weight. Yeah. Um, there are ways to do that too, through medications and other things, and the way you eat. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Different ways to pattern your meals, different mm -hmm. foods to pair together that can target some of these satiety hormones. Um, also, you know, I work a lot with time-restricted eating and mm -hmm. intermittent fasting. So at the talk, you, you won't hear me talk about calories like at all, yeah. um, which is, I think, liberating for a lot of people. Um, so I, again, I'm really excited to share this to the community. I'm not making any money. Like I just really, I just really care about the health of the, yeah. of the, yeah. Community. Why? Tell me about that. Why personally is this so important to you to get this out across? You know, people are struggling out there. Yeah, it's. I think the, I, I think f about 50 percent of U.S. adults are meeting criteria for either prediabetes or diabetes, and then 75 percent of of US adults are either classified as being like overweight or obese, which, you know, I hate BMI criteria and yeah. we'll, I'll talk about that. And at everybody's the, different too. So yeah. 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 And, uh, in the office I'm, I'm treating all of these conditions, right? So hypertension, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, diabetes. Um, a lot of patients are suffering with fatty liver disease and they all kind of have this underlying core metabolic pathway. Mm -hmm. So, if we can address that issue, metabolic health, then all of these other chronic conditions or chronic conditions um, sure. can be improved upon or prevented, you know, ca cancer, Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. um, so. It yeah. can lead to so much and you can live that happier, healthier life you've been wanting Absolutely. to. But sometimes you, it gets frustrating for them too. You get, you reach a brick wall. Maybe if you can get to those underlying problems, yeah, make and things better. Yeah, and that's what it's about. It's really like, it's not about the weight, yeah. right? Weight is just what everyone focuses on, but it's about living happier, healthier, you know, a more vibrant life. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Again, these will, one will be taking place in Piscataquis County, another one up at the Old Town Orono YMCA coming up here. Where can people go if they want more information on this? Is so, there a website? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they'll be advertised on the YMCA website okay. and there's a phone number to register, but I also have um, a Facebook group called Worth the Weight, W-E-I-G-H-T. Okay. Um, so I share a lot of information on there um, and including, you know, events coming up. Okay, so. Let me get you to re repeat that name. What is, was the name of the Facebook group? It's called Worth the Weight. Worth the Weight. Okay. W-E-I-G-H-T. My hearing is getting worse as <laughs> I get older, so I, I'm yeah. always telling people to repeat it. Yeah. So, yeah. Sarah, thank you so much for coming in. It's a Thank pleasure to you. meet you. We'll get you back in here next time you have something going on too. Love to. So, all right. Awesome. Good luck. Great. Um, now we're going to send things over to Devin with a forecast.